coming up on this episode oh, of Valley Boys. Bro, what? We got a gopher? <laughs> dude, put him in your glove. Put him in your glove. <laughs> and you guys? Oh, there's like some dude named Tom Brady. My name is Tom Brady. Our boy, he says his name is Tom Brady. He just fastball signed a guy and then blew it right by him. The newcomers were uh, like a little bit weird. That's pretty interesting. But why were you calling out the pitches before you threw them? Did I see my blood? Nikki just made the worst play I've ever seen in a Sunday League game. One of the worst plays you've ever seen, would you say? Uh, it's for sure up there. That right? weird side <laughs> jump, that weird like, <laughs> Oh my god, it's over my head! It was awful. That was a piece by Jake right there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I got it! He got it! He got it! Oh my god. He got it! What is up, guys? Your boy Stephen is back at it again, guys. We got Nikki K. What's going on, guys? Thank you guys for tuning in to this edition of the Valley Boy series. This is game four. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you get this to 2K likes and 100 comments, I'll release another Valley Boys video this week. Putting out bangers only. It takes me a long time to edit them. So yeah, I'm gonna go on an editing haul for you guys. If you show some love and support. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Right, guys, the Indios game just ended. Guys, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun one, man. Right now, three and zero. You're watching the four and vlog. We got Meg rolling in. What up, baby? Guys, we got the boys and uh, the Valley girl. What up, Regina? I'm Regina Canole. I'm a friend of Stevens, and my brother, you know, films sometimes. So I'm here to support. We got Coach Kinez in the house. What you listening to in those AirPods? Reds game. Uh, Reds game. Reds game. How the Reds down? Three two. Oh, man. He's early. On time. <laughs> Steven Gonzalez in the house, dude. What's good, it's bro? A late game. That's why. I'm yeah, it's a late game. It's not early. I'm Steven, number 22. I'm a pitcher, kind of a hitter now because I'm three for four. Ships are pretty good. My arm can last five innings. After that, I don't know if it's gonna stay on. It's good, dude. How are we do it? You guys made it. What's up? We got the Salcedo boys. Oh, I just come here. I just come here. I just got here. Let's go. <laughs> Making the debuts, dude. My name is Tom Brady. My number is 32. I pitch. I do whatever you want, and I just come here to play baseball. Wait, how old are you? 19. U.S. States, 19. Back home, 45. All right, my name is Rick Salcido, number 87, position catcher. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best, what I have to do for the team, you know, contribute. If I gotta play left bench, right bench, center bench, go get five balls, I'm here. Thanks, man. All right. Also, hey, can I get a water? We need a All right. Yep. Anyway, so today we got a bunch of newbies. I'm not really sure like what their deal is. One of them just keeps getting me water, which is kind of nice, I guess. Here you go, sir. Yeah. Find a waiver for me. Yes, sir. Can't do anything, guy. I saw him hustle to get that water earlier. I think he's, he's pretty legit. For the first time, I actually put myself into the lineup prior to game time. A couple new guys showed up. A couple guys showed up that weren't supposed to be here. And I'm out. I'm the first man out. I play baseball since I born. Since I born, I play baseball. But the other guy says he's 19, and that his name's Tom Brady, and I don't think that's true. MVP every time me. Why do you think you deserve MVP? Because I cannot go home without MVP. What will happen if you go home without MVP? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I don't think he knows that there's no real like age limit here. Doesn't need to pretend to be younger, whatever. Superstar pitch today. We're gonna win. We're gonna have a good game. We're gonna see Tom Brady do his thing. All right, we got Steven Gonzalez starting pitcher today. You ready to go? All okay, cage, bro. I'm pumped. <laughs> Dude. I don't know if my arm is pumped, but my body's pumped. Finally here on time, though. Yeah, for once. I had to warm up after uh, last game. I kind of pulled my hammy, so. Yeah, bro. Oh, oh boy, I guess the hammy's back intact. Hey, love to see you. You're here on time. You know the vibes. We got Mitch. We got a pitcher this week yes, on time. Yes, let's go, bro. I like it. Steven, nice to meet you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to pitch day one, game two, game three, and uh, game yeah. Game four now, all right. We, we got him on game there four. There it is, there it let's is. Let's go. Hop on in. Bro, what? We got a gopher? <laughs> Dude, put him in your glove. Put him in your glove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking him home. He belongs here. Guys, this is my right field, man. <laughs> Straight up gopher. Prime Sunday League activity. Bro, he's getting in the hole. Boy, I scouted the Valley Boys. The new Valley Boys Gophers. Valley Boys Gophers. What's up, guys? Steven Kinez, number 44, right fielder. MVP today, guys. We have a squad. Probably my boy Andy, dude. I'm not going to lie. Andy or Andy or Leo, dude. I mean, Leo was on The Bachelor, bro. It's like he's got the flow. Hey, yo, I'm going to be MVP. I don't know why you're saying I guess name. Steven Gonzalez thinks he's going to be MVP. My name is uh, Leo Dottavio. Uh It's going to be me. I'm going to win MVP. I uh, will go probably. I'll probably get four hits, more than likely. They're not going to throw me anything I haven't seen before. 
Bro, do you need a hat or what? I do need a hat, dude. I thought that I could play with the visor. Oh, I don't know, but... All I have left is a small medium. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to look so bad. I'm going to watch this, guys. I got the biggest dome. Probably on the team, dude. Oh, let's see it, dude. Let's squeeze it, bro. Let's squeeze uh, it. Should I wear it? Right, yeah. other... It is game time. We could change. Guys. My man, yeah, dude. Small heads, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. There we go. We're back. We're back in business. I'm going to choose Steven Nez. He should be the MVP for the editing that he does for these videos. You know, my buddy Mitch, he's been using a wood bat in this league. It's like, dude, hey, <laughs> newsflash, you're not making it to the bigs, dude. You passed your prize. So, you know, that's kind of my beef is he uses wood bats. Okay. Well, you know, I'm a pure hitter, so that's why I like to use wood bats. There's that, Leo. You know, stop stealing my cigars, too. How about that, bro? Bro, Alec. <laughs> dude. How did I get interested? Oh, man. Hey, both. Hey, you're late, too, all right? <laughs> what up? Alex Vager, 28. I'm going to play second base today. Who do I think is going to win MVP today? I want to say Nick. He just shaved his head. He kind of looks like Conor McGregor, so he has that fire in him. Looks kind of weird, but I think he's got it today. Thank you. Yeah, get that jersey on, bro. You're in the starting lineup. We almost scratched you. Don't scratch, little baby. <laughs> I'm Gio, aka the Bandana Man. So basically, what I'm hearing is Ali's getting a little jealous because he thinks me and Nikki got something going on. I don't even know who this Nikki guy is. I don't know where his feelings are coming from, but, but that's the way he feels. So it is what it is. Well, look at. I don't know. I heard something about Transformers, Decepticons, Autobots, Nikki, and Geo. I don't Good know. Movie, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I mean it was. Why did you guys yeah. just go together though? What's up with that? Just you two solo, kind of weird. That's all I'm saying. Well, I um, wanted to see the movie. Yeah, yeah he was free. Okay. So I guess we went back to his place, but we were just talking. Just hanging out. You mean just talking? We were just talking about like. You said you kissed him. No, I. Whoa, he kissed oh, me. Okay. I mean, no, no. Okay. That's, that's where I leave. <laughs> I don't know about no kiss. I yeah, saw a movie with a friend. It. No, I didn't this guy say that. Got some weird animosity towards us. Oh, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Find a different bromance. All right. Anyway, you want to get tickets to Barbie? Yeah, I'm down. Six. Ricky the water boy, what's good, bro? Uh, hey. Yes, sir. We got uh, Tom Andy Brady, 43, 19 year old. We got Tom Brady. Oh, guys, I guess uh, they're going on the field. It is game time, so let's get it, baby. And then, guys, it was time to start game four. Thomas was leading off, ended up popping out. Dang it. Dang it. Then Alec hit an absolute liner to the left fielder. Unfortunately, Alec hit it right out. Meanwhile, Jake found his first barrel of the day by hitting an absolutely crushed single to the center fielder. Spoiler alert, the man goes off. Then Leo decided to warm up right when he was about to hit. It's kind of funny because he didn't warm up at all coming into the game. Yeah, my man's just winging it. But it didn't matter, though, because he didn't even end up swinging the bat. That's an intentional walk. Yeah, it's obviously, right? Intentional. <laughs> Then your boy, Steven Knez, came up, ended up swinging out of my shoes. I thought I totally hit this up into the air, easy pop-up, but uh, yeah, it was in between our land. So nice little base hit, scored a run, first run of the game. Love to see it, baby. With some heads up base running, got my butt to second. Aggressive base running, guys, aggressive. Let's go big country. Yeah, I don't think he's country yeah. at all, but it just seems like a good nickname. I think it would fit. Then Beer Can did exactly what someone called big country would do. Hit an absolute piece into the gap. Yeah, easily coasting into second right there and scored two RBIs, already up 3-0. Yo, baby, keep it rolling, two outs. With two outs, Gio absolutely scorched the ball straight into the air, but uh, was unfortunately a pop out for the third out. Then guys, it was finally time for Steven Gonzalez's debut, bro. He was pumping a little bit, you know? Throwing strikes, that's all we need, but you know, it was kind of crazy because he was supposed to start every single game leading up to that point. And uh, yeah, guys, now it's game four. Ended up getting a strikeout for the first out. Ended up walking a guy and gave up an absolute barrel, guys. This went way over Andy Reyes' head. Andy was not expecting a ball to be hit that far. Rolled all the way to the tennis courts. Had a good relay. And Jake threw the ball right at somebody's truck, bro. Listen to this dang. Yeah, Minnick was uh, cringing after that one, bro. Luckily, nobody got mad. Uh, yeah, I have no idea whose truck that was. Steven Gonzalez ended up getting a strikeout, which was clutch, and rolled up a GB to Jake, who ended up making the play, leaving a runner on third, but not before the Titans could score a run. Got smacked that ball, bro, with the Woody, too. Bro, Titans came to play today. Bro's got the cameraman locked up with the water. Look at that. Full service. Oh, my Leo's, uh... oh what is that? The cat. <laughs> You think that's on purpose, Coach? I don't know. I think they don't fit the uniform. It literally doesn't fit. I think he brought the wrong sock. Yeah. Guys, leading off the second, Minnick was ready to go. An absolute team player was willing to take the dose. Did someone to rub it? No rubbing doses here. Take notes, Steven. Let's go, Nikki. Huh, baby? Keep up the hot streak. Oh, let's go. 
Oh, uh, that's Loki to play ball. But because Minnick was stealing on that pitch, he got his leg in there, so he was safe at second. Meanwhile, Nikki did not beat that out. Minnick's base running was clutch because Andy Reyes came up, hit an absolute shot in the gap, was thinking three all the way. Minnick ended up scoring. And yeah, it's a triple for Juggernaut. Let's go. Ricky, aka the water boy, ended up getting a walk while Thomas flew out straight to center field. Andy Reyes was tagging, so ended up scoring a run. After that, Alec ended up getting a nice little piece or left field to move a runner to second. Love to see it, baby. What did you say, Alex? nickname? Squaggy Bob. Squag Bob. That's a throwback to the vlogs. Yeah, hey, if you guys watch the LA Valley vlogs, bro, you guys already know. Squaggy Bob and Uncle Teabag. Uncle Teabag. <laughs> guys, they need to get moved down in the lineup ASAP. This man do be popping up. Meanwhile, Jake absolutely destroyed this ball. Oppo Taco, bro. Here's another replay, guys. It almost went out into the bounce house. That was a piece by Jake right there. Oppo Boppos? Holy shit. Oh. Fair ball. Fair ball. Let's see it, Jake. Let's see it. Ah. Uh, this run. run does not count. Oh, Jake uh, complaining about a block the bag. Well, good piece, bro. Thank you, thank you. We're rounding second, and the guy yeah. had the ball already, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to take him out. It's just friendly. Our third base coach is uh, giving an interview right now, so <laughs> vlog content problems. What up? It's Papa Leo on the vlog. We are up, I believe, six to two or three. We're balling. They're not bad, though. We got Mitch back here. Let's see what's going on here, boys. Nice, nice. We got the best pitchers in the league. That's really how we dominate. Let's take a look at the field. You can say it. It's not the greatest field, okay? They never, ever take care of it. It's just kind of like there's dog crap and bum needles, fentanyl all over the place. But it's ours. It's our field, all right? It's in the valley, Los Angeles. Some parties, though. There's a bounce house, all right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, a little swinging butt ended up staying fair. It stayed Stayed fair, stayed fair. It should have been foul. After the Titans successful swinging bunt, they hit a triple down the line. I was playing a little bit in, you know, in front of the gopher holes. Uh, but yeah, then I had to pick this ball up in the fence relay. And uh, yeah, they had an RBI triple. Steven Gonzalez started to give up some more barrels. They had a base hit up the middle to score another run. Yeah, Steven needed a lock in and that's exactly what he did. He rolled up this ground ball to Jake. Bear who made the play. And then he had back-to-back -back strikeouts. Coming up clutch, shutting down some momentum for the Titans. All right. So so it looks like we're uh, they're catching up, dude. You know, we're underestimating the uh, the Latinos on the other side. Us Latinos on this side, yeah, we're badass, you know what I mean? But like, whatever, dude. We should take them seriously. They're smashing us right now. Well, they're not smashing us, but they are deep-rooted Latinos. Deep -rooted and Latinos. I warn them, but they don't listen. They don't listen, dog. So they won't pay me. <laughs> it's gonna be a battle today. It doesn't look like they're gonna, we're gonna like just mercy these guys. And then it was time for Leo to hit. I think that was called a strike, but uh, yeah, he wasn't really getting anything to hit, and he had another walk. Then it was time for me to hit. I came ready to go, hit that low and inside pitch right at like a pole or something. And then had a little base knock, love to see. Then Mitch, AKA Beer Can, got rung up on this terrible pitch that pretty much touched the dirt. RIP to my boy. As he looked back at the umpire with disbelief, RIP. Then Gio ended up coming clutch with the two RBI double. Sorry, bro, we missed it on the camera. As Leo got in there, and then Minnick ended up getting hit by another pitch, bro. That's his second hit by pitch of the day. Nikki K hopping on to tell you about that sweet double in the gap. Minnick round second base. As Steven scores a run, which makes three RBIs with a quick slide home from the man, the myth, the minic. He was safe. I threw my hands in the air because, well, it was glorious, and I deserved it. Let's go, guys. Hey, Nikki, come and clutch like usual, man. Bases loaded double from six to five to what? Like nine to five? Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. Then Andy Reyes hit an absolute barrel all the way to left field, and uh, yeah, I guess the left fielder couldn't hunt it down. Nikki had some terrible base running, and for some reason didn't score. I have no clue how he didn't score on that. Then Waterboy ended up popping up. Infield pop fly unfortunately does not do a job, and Thomas followed him with another pop-up. Then the pitcher juggled the ball, and I guess it landed right in the shortstop's hands. The coach was disappointed. Team brawl, dude? Why not? Bring us all together. A little fist fight, like the old days, dude. No shanks, no chance. Leave your weapons at home. Just fist. Manliness. I think that's a good team building right there. Right, dude? It's gotta be. All right, guys, it was time to go back on defense, and Nikki K made one of the worst plays I've ever seen in my life. He overran this ball, then he tried to do, like, a jump catch type thing. And, yeah, I don't even know, bro. I thought it was just hilarious having it back on replay in slow motion. I was like, oh, my gosh. Hey, bro. I like trip, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I don't know, some dude hit a fly ball to left field, easy as hell. He just, like, overran it. He was all scared, I could tell, but... Okay, so now we're winning 10-4, but Nikki just made the worst play I've ever seen in a Sunday league game. One of the worst plays you've ever seen, would you say? 
Uh, it's for sure up there. Bro. It's up there. Like he kind of like he misjudged a fly ball and then he did this weird jump to try to catch it at the end and it looked odd. Guys, and what are the odds? The very next play, they hit another pop fly to left field and Nicky had his redemption play and he made the catch. Let's freaking go. Everybody was clapping, standing ovation. Love to see it. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, I got it. He got it. Oh my God. He got it. Oh. One down. Listen, man, I, I can explain, okay? I just I got a side view it's, of it's, that. It's the choppy grass, and I just kind of got lost. It flew right over my head. It is super choppy out there. I don't think they have a turf manager. Listen, it's here. like I was telling them. I can't hit a double without the world trying to balance itself out. That's the problem. <laughs> Up one double, down one horrible catch. Sounds like an excuse to me. I, I owe the team an apology. <laughs> Tommy, I hope you don't watch this video. Nikki K, ball right back to him. The composure there was elite. Like, couldn't even tell he'd been there in the last play. <laughs> there, yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, fellas. I'm, I'm here. I'm him. That's me, Nikki K. <laughs> you gotta be a goldfish. Okay, I'm turning this into a good thing. You gotta be a goldfish, everybody. That's what I'm trying to teach you. <laughs> goldfish in outfield? <laughs> we got Fernando in the house, baby. What's good, bro? Hey, how's the game so far? It's fun to watch right here, you know? <laughs> Valley boys, baby. Valley boys. Valley yes, boys. sir. We got Regina. How we living right now? How's the game? The game's good. It's kind of chilly, though. Kind of chilly? I wish it was Hey, what you wearing though? That Valley Boys hoodie? Let's go. Valley Boys out shop. Let's go. Both of them repping. Thank you for the support. Hey, yeah, double repping, bro. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Hey, you know you shouldn't do fentanyl. Dude, I've heard that fentanyl is kind of bad. Do not do, do fentanyl, kids. Hey, don't do fentanyl, bro. That's like the general. That's kind of like the theme of today. You want to be a Valley Boy? Don't do fentanyl. <laughs> hey, Valley Boys don't do fentanyl, bro. Dude, no. oh, I feel like you've been talking about fentanyl for hours. It looked like you were on some fentanyl no, during no. that five ball. <laughs> it looked like you might have took a little hit of fent when you, when you did that weird side <laughs> jump, that weird like, <laughs> it was like, Ew, oh my God, it's my head you. It looked a little weird, but it's okay because then you redeemed yourself. Oh, hey, you're up, you're up, bro, you're up. <laughs> Dude, I'm on deck. Yeah, man, I just went up hitting 3 now. Sometimes you just gotta say f you know? Bro, 3-0 hitter right there? Always. The green Always. light, green light. Then what do you know, Leo was up. The pitcher was starting to get tired, so he almost hit Leo in the ponytail. He thought it might have actually hit him. And then Leo had another walk. Leo! It was not that close. Close, you know? Then it was time for me to hit again. Like I said, the pitcher was losing control. The ball almost hit me in the head, and uh, yeah, I kind of got out of the way of that one. And then, guys, it was 3-0. I decided to take a hack, guys. Uh, yeah, you know, it's Sunday League. It's my own team. And uh, yeah, you know, I had to swing out of my shoes. And then I got another ball for ball four. I really wanted to hit that at bat, guys. The lady in the stands either has a BBL or the fattest anyone's ever seen. I think, dude, it's, that's fake, bro, so it doesn't count. I mean, obviously, it's engineered by a really good doctor, probably in Beverly Hills. Oh. What the hell in the Kim Kardashian? Meanwhile, we're at first and second. Runners uh, with two outs, two outs. Hey, guys, this team's actually putting up a good fight, so make it interesting. What are we up, though, now? I think it's ten, is it 10-4 or more now? No, we didn't score this inning, so. What do you think about team. refusal to swing the bat today? Dude, they saw Leo's flow, and they were intimidated, so they're yeah. just giving him nothing to hit, you know? Absolutely nothing. But he could have tried a little bit, I could have tried a I, little bit. I swung at the 3 0 pitch. I kind of like the angle that, like, my my past experience and right, absolute get, greatness. Get back, get All right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get back. Yeah, Leo had to hustle back to second, but then Mitch ended up getting a single that scored him. Let's go. That's my dad. He came to coach. Right there. Thank you, dad. <laughs> because that was Tom Brady's father, then Minnick ended up getting hit for the third time of the day. Three doses. Three doses. A Sunday league. Tom Brady thinks this is top-notch baseball here. This right here is baseball is finest. So back on defense, boys. Boy, Gio. Yes, sir. We're getting on base. Get in and get in on base. The Valley is the best of, in my opinion, Los Angeles. There's less traffic. It's quieter. The ladies are still pretty. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Oh, you know it. You have the most beautiful. The most beautiful women, all the way up and down. From yeah. San Fran, Sacramento, yeah, all the way name? Orange County, San Diego. Yeah. And of name? course, we got LA. Yeah. Too much uh, too much of them BBLs nowadays, though. How do you uh, feel about the BBLs, the fake booties? You wouldn't believe how many women are fake. Have a yeah. fake booty. There's one over there right now. Did I you see that one earlier? I'm not paying a whole lot of attention these days. BBL? But I mean, I don't even know what that is. Somebody tell me, what is a BBL? That guy, Leo, he talked too much. BBLs are overrated. Heading into the bottom of the fourth, Steven Gonzalez was still on the mound. They hit a decent pop fly to Andy Reyes, who hunted it down. Yeah, that kid is a beast. Then right after, the Titans rolled up a ground ball to Jacob Bear, who ended up making the backhand play and got the out. Love to see it. Followed up by a nice little single to Nikki Kay, who made a terrible throw to the cutoff man. But it's all good because Steven rolled up another ground ball to Alec and made the third out. Yeah, watch the vlog, bro. They told me they watched it. Yeah, they did? The shortstop told me, yeah. Let's go, bro. Hey, Our opponents are watching the vlogs now. Yeah, the shortstop told me they watched it and they were impressed. 
depressed, and then I was like, we're just a bunch of nice guys. You know, we gotta can't we can't get like I don't want to wake any of these like teams up to like just get start like training to try to beat us. You know what I mean? I just want them to just be like, oh, they're nice, and then yeah, we mercy you. Yeah, we're talking crap about you on the blog, but like you won't see it till it's too late. Yeah, I don't know when we're gonna play. We got a, we got a two week lag. We got a, we got a cool lag, so I can edit these. Starting up the fifth, we had back to back walks from Andy Reyes and the Water Boy. Yeah. Oh, there Come we on. go! There we go, oh, Thomas! You're back to your good graces with that oppo Oh, boy, TK! Oh, we got Andy scoring, sneaking in there. Let's go. Let's go, baby! Dude. <laughs> yeah, he's probably freaking squatting 500 yesterday. Probably. <laughs> Comment down, how much do you think Andy can bench? We'll ask him at some point. Waterboy Ricky kept on bringing the energy, bro. Dirtball Reed got himself safely to third. Getting dirty, love to see it, bro. Alex and Vedra ended up flying out to center field, but it was a sack fly because Ricky was scoring, you already know. Setting the scene up for Jake Bear. Up. Up. Damn. Yeah, that was an absolute bomb. I don't even know how you can hit a ball that far. It was a missile. That was bomb. It was sick. It was a big old bomb. Big old bomb. Respect it. Give credit where it's due. And guys, in Leo's last at bat, he didn't even swing. So, uh, yeah, zero swings on the day. Leo didn't swing the bat one time today. We got lucky today, but we're not going to win a lot of games unless Leo's swinging the bat. As for Leo, he's doing a lot of talking, not a lot of hitting. I think that he was a little bit distracted today. We well, noticed you didn't get any hits today. I didn't swing. He definitely I didn't swing the bat. Out. I don't know. You I had a unicorn jersey, guys, bro. I'm you all it, about. Man. I kind of like to run some experiments, right, every now and then. So today I said to myself, I'm not going to swing the bat. And I did. And I walked three times. But you struck out though. Well, yeah. you know, this is only you the struck out looking. Strike out, yeah. But you can really say it was the BBL that got me, and not the pitcher or the. It was really the umpire and the BBL What's with you and BBL? Why you keep saying Well, there was one in the stands. Did you not see it? There was a satellite that saw that BBL, dude. The ego. It's a lot right now. You can see his ego from space, huh? You can. Then, guys, after Leo struck out by not swinging the bat, me and Beer Can had back to back walks, followed up by a bandana man pop fly to end the top of the fifth. Heading into the bottom of the fifth we had to close the door so we brought in our new closer tom brady all of a sudden he started to call all of his pitches like out loud to the hitter letting them know that he was throwing a fastball and still throwing it by them well we just had uh, our boy here uh, our boy he says his name is tom brady he just fastball signed a guy and then blew it right by and he kept it rolling bro on to the next batter back-to-back -back strikeouts but why were you calling out the pitches before you threw them this is the way my grandfather my daddy my grandfather 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 that's the way they pitch so i change it that's in my blood Guys, probably one of the most savage things I've ever seen from a pitcher. He literally gave a fastball sign to every single one of the Titans hitters and was making it look easy. Let's do it again. He's saying fastball again. Hit, huh? He's saying fastball's coming. Oh, fouled it off this time, but still kind of cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, three strikeouts in a row. I don't think Tom Brady's debut could have gone any better. Yeah, we only had the best pitchers for the Valley Boys. He may be 45, but it's all good, man, because he did a job. He shut the door. Valley Boys got that dub. I had no idea that we were in mercy rule contention. So, uh, yeah, we ended the game early. This is uh, TV32. That's Tom Brady's number. TV32. It was pretty interesting having our pitcher show up. Uh, no one knew who he was. He was impersonating Tom Brady. Had a paper birth certificate. Let's just say it did not look like the real TB12, but... Pretty good arm out there. I think he was up to about 99. Good job for him slamming the door with one inning save, up 12 runs. So yeah, thanks for showing up, TV32. Hey, shout out Coach Kinez. Easy big today, easy big. Easy dub, well-managed game. There was a lot of challenges your way. Counting all the runs, that was the hardest thing I had to do. What did we finish at? 16-4. 16-4? It was another uh, mercy rule victory. Sometimes I feel like I'm a babysitter versus an actual coach. Just guys come when they want. It doesn't matter. I make the lineup, I make the changes, I make the revisions, and we win by mercy. So it is what it is. What do we got in the chest right here? Capri Suns. Oreos. Cheese and crackers. Let's go. Valley Mom brought over some Valley Mom brought some, uh, some cupcakes, bro. I think the team did good. You know, we take dubs only. I don't think we'll ever take an L. Sometimes you do got to take an L to make some M's. A million dollars. Whatever, dog. Anyway. Some interesting plays happened. I think it was a good game overall. I thought it was unfair to the other team because uh, you can't beat them. Mercy every team. That's crazy. I will say, though, the other team was a better team than the other teams, but still not better than the Valley Boys. Impressive. Impressive. Successful day. I got my pitch. I got paid. One whole box of cupcakes. Sun. Satisfaction, winning, best Sunday ever in a long time. Thank you very much, Valley Boys. We got the Canoles. What'd you guys think? I didn't even know we were gonna mercy them. Dude, I thought it was a lot closer game in the um, like 
15 to 5, and I was like, huh? <laughs> I thought it was close, but apparently I was zoned out here. Yeah, definitely glad we found some barrels out. Trying to make it interesting for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this to everyone you know. Hey, yeah, listen to Regina. Every single person you know, if you met like 23,000 people in your lifetime, make sure you find every single one of them yeah. and share this video. Get the emails, get the numbers. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna find your house, and I'm gonna make sure <laughs> every single one of you have done that, bro. You're a fake fan if you don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, come you're on, fake, guys. You're a fake Stephen Pinnes stan if you don't do that. Yeah, but hey, you ain't a Valley boy if you don't like, comment, subscribe, bare minimum. Come on. Also, cop the merch, bro. It's fire. Uh, Valley Boys shop. You're a real fan. Uh, we're good. I got dosed three times in a row. O for O. Three doses. Two rib shots. Little shin deal. Oh my oh god. Feel oh, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, good. Or you what? got some welts. Sweet. You got some. I can't do worse than this game, so I will do better. It must have been the other second pitcher that put the five runs in or something, but it wasn't me. But it, I did pretty good. The game just ended, man. I know. Why do we keep mercy? Dude, you should get a better lead, dude. <laughs> I had to start somewhere. Nicky should be on your feet. No, who? He's at home right now. That was a mistake. Should win MVP? Shit. Probably still a Nicky K. Honestly, I just I just really like his haircut and he looks pretty dope right now. He's been acting kind of weird, but he made a terrible play. Terrible play in the outfield today. He made a little redemption catch. MVP? Nicky, duh. I said it from the beginning. Come on. You guys like Connor McGregor. <laughs> You're a good guy. MVP is for sure my guy Nicky K right here. Nicky K vlogs. So obviously he had that play and left. We all saw it. Kind of funny, but and then he had a three-run yeah. double. Like that was sweet. I scored from first, by the way. You're welcome. All right, guys, we won 16-4. That's gonna be the end of the game. MVP goes to Nicky. Let's yeah. go. I don't know why I got MVP. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm grateful, but I just feel like everyone's making fun of me, sort of. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Join the Valley Boys. I don't want to be MVP. <laughs> Follow Nikki K. Oh, no. Connor McCray. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. We'll see me on the video today. Yeah, it tastes hey. awful. Oh. Um, I guess I'm from the river. Yeah, can you do that for me? Yeah. Man, newbies, huh? It's like you just don't get it. You know what I mean? We, Yankee we gave visor. you a hat. Like we yeah, you did. Yeah. I lost it. To be honest, and I didn't wash the shirt either. So I. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. I can tell. It'd be stinking, yeah. Yeah. It smells a little um, bit like in and can out. Can I get you in an interview? Sure. All right.